Today we're making Christmas tree Christmas ornaments out of fabric scraps. You of course will need a pile of fabric scraps. You'll need a backing fabric, a piece of felt or a piece of cotton batting, and some ribbon for hanging. I've cut my backing fabric the same size as my felt. I'm using a 5 by 7 piece because that's the piece of scrap felt I had. If you do a 5 by 9 piece you actually will be able to get three ornaments out of it. Right now with my piece I can get two ornaments out of this. My first step is to take my backing fabric and have it right side down. Have my felt right on top of it. And then I'm going to take one of my fabric scraps and I'm going to put it right side down corner to corner. I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to do a quarter inch stitch quarter, corner to corner right along this edge here. I'm going to run this right off the edge when I'm finished. Now I can either finger press this down or I can take it to the iron and iron it. If you iron it down be very careful if you're using the felt because it will melt. Now I'm taking another fabric strip. I'm going to put it right sides together, match the raw edges, and I'm going to do another quarter inch seam down the side. And again, either finger press open or take it to the iron. And then we'll grab another scrap, match raw edges, And we're going to continue doing that until we come to the corner. I just put my last piece down and now I'm at the corner. I'm going to fold that over, flip it around. Now I need to work on this side. So I have another fabric scrap. What I'm doing again is face down. I'm going to match this sewn edge to the raw edge of this one. And we're going to stitch it like we've been stitching. If you wind up having an extra long tail, go ahead and cut that off. If it's a short tail, there's no worries because we'll be cutting that off in a little bit. The long tails are nice to cut off because you might need it again before you get to this corner. Again, press it and then another strip. All right, and let's keep going until we get to the corner again. So I've made it back to my corner again. I'm going to take this to the iron now. I'm going to press all of this down. So this is what we have. It doesn't look very attractive, but if you turn it over, you can see your base piece. We're going to trim all around to match it to this size before we do our next step. When we cut the edges, this is what we have. This is what we have on the front side. We're going to actually use the back side to do our cutting and our tracing. You'll need a pattern of some kind. I just cut mine out of paper. You could also use a cookie cutter or just make up your own. We're going to trace one here and we're going to flip this around and trace the other here. This is where if you had a five by nine piece of fabric you could actually get a third one in over here. But this was the only size felt I scrap felt I had so this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to trace around the edge of the pattern. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same on this side. What we're going to do, you might not be able to see those marks, but I can see them. I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to stitch right on the inside of these lines. These lines are actually our cutting lines. So I'm going to go in and do a quarter inch, eighth inch seam right on the inside all the way around. When I get to the top though, we need to treat that different because of our ribbon. Now as we're stitching on the inside of these trees, we actually are going to need to do a front stitch and a back stitch, kind of a back tack. Be sure to pivot at the corners. When you get to the top of the tree where the ribbon will go, I actually take it out of the machine and then I'm going to pull some of my seams apart a little bit from the back. I'm going to put the ribbon ribbon down into the top of that. There probably is an easier way to do this, I just don't know it. So I'm going to push this down into the tip of it and then I'm going to want to make sure when I stitch around the tip of the tr top, tip top of the tree that I catch that ribbon in there.
And I usually do a couple back and forwards when I think I have the rib in there. Hug on your ribbon to see if it's secure, and mine is. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to this other tree here, and I'm gonna do the same. When you're finished, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Now you're gonna take your pinking shears and go back over your line that you drew around those trees. When you get to the ribbon, you're gonna to wanna to move the ribbon back out of the way as you do your cutting, so you don't accidentally cut your ribbon. When you're finished, here's what you come up with. You can also go back and do some decorative stitching across it if you'd like. Ready to hang on a tree. Christmas tree ornaments out of scrap fabrics.